All right, so let's see the finished design. That's inserting text and using a hyperlink. What's this mean, see the finished design? Here's the finished design of the table. Looks pretty dang good. And then I also added in these things so we could see more of what the insert ribbon can do. Because one of the things insert ribbon can do is shapes, which we've already, already seen. But let's go look at a few more shapes. Bam, look at all those shapes, right? And now here I could go back to my choices. Bam, back to my choices. And then there's also this thing called smart art. Well, let's see a few smart art examples. Bam, cool. Sales, production, marketing, accounting, input, processing, result, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> awesome, All right? Well, what are equations? Over here we have this thing where we can insert equations. Let's go see what we could do with equations. Holy cow, that looks awesome. Looks like I know what the hell I'm doing. I love it. Go back to my choices, there are the equations. And then, just in case with the equations, because when you go to equations, there's actually just pre-written equations. Well, heck, the equation I want isn't in there, because I just came up with it, and it's amazing. And it explains both dark matter and Schrodinger's paradox, and it also explains uh, the God particle in one equation. So it's not in there yet, because I just invented it. So I need to go to the object equation editor. So you can see what that looks like here. And here's a really simple example of me creating a really simple equation, x equals y squared, which is actually the meaning of life. But what does that mean? We could go to object here. How do we use the equation editor? If we go to object, we could insert all kinds of objects into our Excel worksheet, including Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, other Excel spreadsheets. So if I wanted to bring other Excel spreadsheets into this one workbook, I can do that. And here's the Microsoft Equation Editor uh, 3.0. I click OK, and if it's the first time I've used this, it says there's a better version. You want to use that? And you might say yes. And now I just start typing my equation. I did not say yes because I wanted to show you what was in here. X equals Y. I highlight the 2, and I want that to be a superscript up there. And there's my equation. And then I click around a little bit till I get out of the equation editor, and voila, I created x equals y squared. Get rid of that. Go back to my choices. And finally, we have under insert, we have symbols right there. So there are symbols, and these are the different symbol choices you have. And you could scroll down, and there's more. And you could even choose, you know, wingdings 2, wingdings 3, and there's even more. And there's special characters here, non breaking spaces, and things like that. So mm, let's go see a few symbols. Yeehaw, that's what they look like. Where have I used symbols? That arrow right there? I used that right here. I inserted that symbol so you could see the finished design. Arrow over. All right, very cool. So uh, here's the pet store graph. I just wanted to point this out too, right? As we're talking about formatting and making things visually appealing, I could take all of this data here and I could say, hey, I want to see what, how many animals I have each day in total, and then what are they comprised of? So dog, cat, and I could see cat over time here. So this is a stacked bar chart. And if you haven't watched my other video about how to do the charting or graphing, as I've always called it before I got into Excel, if you haven't uh, seen that other video, watch that video, and I'll, I'll show you how to really you know, make beautiful looking charts. All right, so the last thing I want to point out here is how did I get these buttons over here looking so good, right? They're all lined up evenly on the left. They're all equally spaced apart, except for this last one maybe, because I added it on at the last moment. <laughs> well, if I have a bunch of buttons, I can select all of them by first selecting one, hold down shift, select the next one, select the next one, la 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 la. So I hold down shift and I select them all. And then this drawing tool, context sensitive ribbon pops up, and I click it, and then I could say, hey, wait, I want to align these, and I want to align them all on the left. Ooh, nice. And I want to distribute their widths vertically, distribute the distance between them vertically. Nice. And there I have all my buttons nicely laid out. Once again, you'll want to do that before you add hyperlinks, because once you've added hyperlinks, you aren't able to touch them without going to wherever your hyperlink takes you. So I'm going to undo that so you could play with uh, formatting those, aligning those on your own when you download this project file. Okay, so some awesome stuff there with the insert ribbon. Moving forward and onward, we've seen what you could do with the home ribbon. We've seen what you could do with the insert ribbon. We've